Um, hello, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a very low budget video because if I didn't get this done right now, then it was just not gonna happen. My kids get home in about an hour, so hopefully I can get all this done. In the meantime, hi, welcome. Today I'm excited to be kind of sharing a little bit of like my opinion when it comes to blogging and the whole um, like blogging landscape in 2024. And the age old question, is blogging dead? Um, no, I do not think blogging is dead, uh, but we're gonna cover why people think it's dead and why I don't think that it is dead. Um, and why I think it's a really good medium for you to incorporate into your current business. Or if you are thinking of like where you really want to lean into as far as your online business, uh, why I think blogging is it. So if you want to know what I've got to say about it, then just keep on watching. So obviously with the rise of social media and podcasts and videos, a lot of people seem to think that the blogging medium is just like, ancient and that nobody blogs anymore but i feel like there is this uh like misconception as to what exactly we are talking about when we talk about blogging i feel like a lot of people are still stuck in the early 2000s thinking that blogging is just like your online journal where you write about your most recent like summer vacation or your prep to your wedding or um, your motherhood journey. So while those are still true, since then blogging has taken on a whole new identity. So while people think that blogging is a thing of the past, that really is not the case. So let's go ahead and first dive into why people think blogging is dead. First, I'd like to talk a little bit about the current state of blogging. Did you know that there are over 600 million blogs on the internet today? And while it seems like everyone's watching videos or listening to podcasts, blogs still attract billions of readers every month. However, it is true that blog readership is on the decline, mainly due to the way that people consume their content nowadays. People's content consumption habits are changing and many people prefer that quicker visual content as opposed to having to read on a blog. So why do people think that blogging is dead? Let's break it down. Number one, the traditional readership. More people are spending their time on social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. In the past few years, there's been a significant shift towards video and audio content. So platforms like YouTube and Spotify has have exploded in popularity in the last few years. There's also been a decrease in profitability. A decrease in ad revenue for individual bloggers has made it a little bit harder for some to sustain their blogs as a full-time job. But wait, it's not all doom and gloom. Some of the reasons why blogging is not dead. So remember I talked about how in the past, a lot of people were mainly doing what I would think is like a lifestyle blog where they share things in their lives. So whether it's like their college, first year in college, or maybe they just met like their sweetheart and like they're navigating, you know, life as a newlywed, like that was things of the past. Nowadays, if you have a niche blog, meaning that you specifically focus on a certain type of niche, then you have a great probability of growing that blog and gaining those dedicated followings. So some of the blogs that do really well in this is personal development blogs, finance blogs, recipes. So obviously food bloggers do really great because just about anybody who is not like the best cook in the kitchen, including myself, goes on to the internet to look for different recipes that you want to make. There are also SEO benefits. SEO on blogs is just pure gold. It's a great way for you to get your business in front of other audiences that you might not typically see on social media and also boost that organic traffic to your site where you can sell your products and services. And Finally, it's the evergreen content. Personally, I love blogging because if I write a really good evergreen blog post, I know that it is gonna continue to get those viewers year after year. As opposed to social media where content creators burn out very frequently with having to constantly produce content in order to appease the algorithm, it can kind of seem like you're running in circles. But with a blog, you can really focus on like a handful of evergreen blog posts that are gonna continue to not only get you like affiliate income, ad revenue, and possibly brand partnerships. One thing to remember is that just like social media, you constantly have to adapt when it comes to blogging. So again, we're not doing the same type of blogging that 
we were in the early 2000s or even five, 10 years ago. So if you want to really make it in this industry, it's crucial that you adapt. One of the ways that bloggers are adapting is by leveraging their social media followers to bring back those audiences to their blogs. So you'll see a lot of content creators on Instagram either promoting their blogs or maybe they'll do like a short video kind of talking a little bit about what they are sharing on their blog and then obviously like enticing their audience to head back to the blog to get like the rest of the steps to whatever they're sharing. Another way that you can integrate your social media with your blog is by inserting either photo photos that you share on Instagram or videos from YouTube and actually putting them on the blog post. So that way you can kind of drive your audience back and forth. If you have a podcast, another great way to drive those readers to your podcast is by basically summarizing what you're talking about on your podcast and writing it in a blog post. And if done correctly and incorporating SEO practices, then you have a higher probability to show up on Google and drive that traffic back to not only your blog, but also your podcast. In order to keep your blog alive and well in 2024, I think it's really crucial that you start incorporating practices that really serve your audience. So again, no longer are you talking about your life and your newlywed journey or anything like that. Now you're solving problems for your audience. You're answering their questions like what, think about what are people searching on Google and give them that answer. So, so if people are looking for like summer outfit ideas, then I will probably do a blog post on summer outfit ideas and kind of style a couple of looks. I'll insert obviously affiliate links where they can purchase those items. So not only am I making money off of that, but I'm also serving them by giving them what they want, which is outfit ideas. Some of my favorite blogs have actually turned into like multi-million dollar businesses. If you've ever read the every girl online, then that actually started as a blog. Now, of course they have a ton of people working for them and they have writers so they can shell out a lot more content. And obviously that's going to make them grow and just make a ton of money. Another thing to remember is that people still want to hear like first account reviews or ideas or suggestions from actual people who have lived. So let's say somebody wants to try a new lipstick that just came out on the market and I have a blog post where I detail like how it feels, how it wears. I did a wear test, all of this stuff. I have pictures. The thing to remember is there is still a demand for in-depth analysis and guides on the internet. So the more that you cater to your target audience, the more likely you're going to be driving those readers back to your blogs. This is when you have to do that research. You have to, you know, kind of be like in the know as to like, what are people looking for? What's something that every year something gets searched on online. So whether it's like the most Instagrammable places in Houston, Texas, or maybe it's an easy vegan chocolate cake, people are still going to be searching for those things. So, so is blogging dead? Not quite. It's just evolving. The more that you educate yourself, with new techniques and new strategies with the ever-changing landscape of the blogging industry, the better that you're going to position yourself for longevity in your blog. You're already starting at a great place here on the Blogging Breakdown. I also urge you to do a little bit more research online and check out different blogs from different industry experts. I personally like to go on to Ahrefs or I will go on to HubSpot and they have like a lot of like great techniques on there as well. So what do you think? Do you think blogging is I'd love to know your thoughts on it or what have you been doing to kind of stay afloat right now that the blogging industry is kind of like in turmoil with all these Google updates. Go ahead and leave me those comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Bye.